Hello, my friends, it's Jacob. Hey, Jacob's here. It's the Friday show. All right, I'm excited. Okay, hey, this is uh, this is a different show for me. It came to me in like a vision. I was, you know, doing what I usually do. Okay, what should I talk about next? What's the next thing? And then fumbling around and all of a sudden I'm thinking, oh my goodness, you know, there's so many strange things. I, I stumbled upon a couple of interesting finds, something that happened in Russia, which is so bizarre and peculiar, and something that just happened like over Milwaukee. But I start thinking about this and I start thinking, my goodness, the world is so incredibly weird right now. And I've been chronicling the journey, right? For over, not like over a year and a half now, I have been talking about all of these things that make you think that the world has gone mad. And it's not stopping yet. But 2018, everything is just taking a crazy turn. So today's show is about the top 10 things <laughs> that'll make you question reality in 2018. It's gonna make you wonder, there's something else going on <laughs> at the end of this show. I'm sure you will agree. So buckle up, people, because the top 10 things are coming now. Okay, before I get into the top 10 list, I want to talk about some wacky things that have just happened. I saw this morning, Milwaukee caught something crazy on their local news cam in the morning. It really did kind of look weird. Check this out. Are those fireworks? Who's that? Aliens? I don't know. What the heck Where is that? that? Am I, you see it, right? I'm actually, uh, yes, okay. I do see it. Okay. We're, it's we're, getting we're, weirder by this second. I know. It's like um, they're sticking around. We're going to do some Anybody? digging and figure out what that is back in a moment. Even the uh, even the uh, reporters were wondering if they were in the Matrix or not, or if it was aliens or not. But uh, the uh, story broke a couple of hours later, I guess, or maybe a day later, I'm not sure. They said it's seagulls. That's what it was. Those were seagulls. Anyway, our anchors captured this on one of our uh, sky cams this morning, and they were, what is that? These glowing, like, white things that were moving up in the air, and they had this whole long discussion about it. And our producer even called Eddie and I out in the field and said, hey, can you see something? Like, we can't figure out what it is. Well, mystery solved. About 30 minutes later, we're sitting in our truck here outside the Milwaukee County Courthouse, and we heard them birds i mean alfred hitchcock move over this is the birds scene right here in milwaukee we're a little bit worried that they might uh drop a few presents on us so far we've been clear yeah there are just a huge <laughs> now that may not make you question reality um but when elon musk took to the uh stars with his spacex rocket uh, i've done a show on this and everyone everywhere was taking a look at this <laughs> Spaceman driving his hot rod Tesla, the the uh, fiery red one, and made people think to themselves, well, at least myself, that that's probably number ten on the list. going on not to mention uh this is the uh it was like the first scene in heavy metal what's going on right there are a lot of uh a lot of other conspiracies that have to do with that again i did a show on it so check that out okay number nine Now, this was something that was really cool. This was kind of spooky, actually. I was um, just doing a little research, and I, uh, I stumbled upon these mysterious lights that were taking place all over Russia in St. Petersburg. And 
it was really weird because, you know, it almost looked like, sort of like the Matrix, you know, and, and people everywhere, it wasn't just like in one location, it was like all over from all different angles. They were sharing these, these pictures where, <laughs> yeah, it, just weird. Now their explanation for this one, they said it is uh, ice crystals and that that's, it was like, you know, the reflection of all that. Is it that? Well, is it plausible? It's weird. Right? Now this one is just totally bizarre. Number eight on my list of uh, top 10 crazy things, the ghost cities of China. Crazy, right? A bunch of people give an explanation saying things like, oh, it was like a refraction of this and it was like, it was a mirage of that. And then you had the people, you know, looking down from the clouds. These are weird, weird things. Number seven, I, at one point, I thought, you know, when, when I first heard about the, <laughs> the ocean disappearing from the shores everywhere, from Florida to other parts of the world, and you know, when it first happens, you wake up and you're kind of like, what is going on? You know, what is really going on? Like, is that normal? It's not really normal because, you know, you would think that it was because of a tsunami, but I mean, we're talking miles of uh, ocean water just, it just disappeared. And they had a bunch of explanations. You know, some of them, one of them said it was plausible, was uh, Hurricane Harvey. But the other ones, where the water's just, just disappearing on a regular basis, then it comes back like a week later or so, happening all over the place. What's the explanation there? Some people say, oh, an earthquake opened up and the water just, just, but how did it come back out? So that's number seven on my list. Number six comes to us from a Google Earth. Yeah, that's right. And I can thank uh, Tyler at Secure Team. I, I, I love the dude. I like his, uh, I like his channel. He, does, he, he seems like a nice guy too. I don't know if, you ever, if, you, if you're into all that stuff, check out his channel. But this picture of the earth, the uh, earth with this strange line of like, it was like a, like a, it was like a perfect line that, that <laughs> moved from Antarctica all the way to the North Pole. Man, it makes you question reality. Kind of like, wait a minute, that doesn't make a lot of sense. What's going on? Again, on the flip side of the coin, we don't even know if, you know, there are many legit images of the Earth anyway that we're really aware of. Oh, I opened up something there, didn't I? Uh, I'm not going to go there, guys. Sorry. Number five, of course, uh, the uh, the booms. The boom, 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 booms. I, <laughs> I like doing the show on the booms uh, and the hums. You know, these large, you know, these large sounds, these booms going on all over the place, shaking houses, shaking neighborhoods, making it uh, on the news and pretty much all over the world. From our Cape Coral news team, a big boom caused concern and confusion last night. The loud noise actually rattled homes in parts of the Cape. and joins us live from North Wildwood with the latest, please. 
Well, around 10, 15, 10, 20 this morning, people throughout South Jersey said they felt something, but it was very intense right here in North Wildwood. In between the cheers, all the chatter at this cross-country meet in North Wildwood Wednesday was about a behemoth boom. So I heard this great big boom. Lock buoy areas where the largest red circles are, but we also heard some people in Capitol Hill, Lakewood, Castle Rock, and even Elizabeth report hearing the sounds. Now, here's what we know. We know it was not military aircraft. Buckley told me they ended all missions after 8 o'clock last night. USGS and Golden says it was not an earthquake, but they did provide me with it. It's been going on for a couple of, no one knows what they are. I did a video on it where, you know, some of the things they say, oh, it's frost quakes, you know, or other people say, oh, it's a, it's a, they're blowing stuff up down in the mines. That's what it is. That's what the boom, and there's like no mine. <laughs> so that's a very bizarre and peculiar thing. Kind of makes you think maybe reality is not what I've been told. Maybe there's something going on, especially the last couple of years. If you haven't noticed, then, uh, you're probably not a subscriber to my channel, but if you have noticed, hopefully you have subscribed. And if you haven't, please do. It's uh, very important. I mean, it really is. I mean, just, just subscribe. Click the bell, keep in touch with me, and then uh, and I'll try. I'll see you at the comments section, of course. Now this is a huge one. I actually debated uh, putting this as number one, but number four is AI, artificial intelligence. I mean, I've done a lot of shows on this. I have playlists, by the way, guys uh, and gals and uh, whoever's. <laughs> you know, yeah, go to the playlist if you want to check them out. A lot of people are always saying, Jacob, I wish you'd do a video on faith. I did one. Jacob, I wish you'd do a video on this. I, I did that too. P you know, I have a big playlist. You know, you should go and check it out. If you, if you enjoy a video or two, go back and, and uh, watch. But Sophia, that's, uh, that's number four. Hanson Robotics becoming a citizen in Saudi Arabia. The exact same time, just shortly after a huge purge where, uh, you know, the new prince took control and the day that they released their new e-currency. Really, you want to talk about really weird is that no one really even knows who invented Bitcoin. No one even knows who really came up with this whole thing, which became the Silk Road for all illegal transactions, which be became, you know, blockchain and all that stuff, which I don't even understand what it, I don't understand what it is. But what I will say to you is it's weird and it is not the way things used to be. I mean, this world that we're in right now is number four reason why I said top four. That's number four as to why I think things could appear less real. And you might want to consider looking into what is real and what is beneath all of this illusion, as they say. Right now, you have, um, there's so many different algorithms, you know, uh, running right now. <laughs> and they're in control of everything and they're everywhere. And um, when Sophia became the citizen in Saudi Arabia, when they release their new e-currency. I mean, that's where everything is going. The spooky picture of Trump, right? With the globe. Which was, you know, lit everything and started this whole new uh, race to e-currency. And um, it's gonna happen, it's gonna happen. And then we're all gonna need to be plugged into whatever currency that is. And that's when life gets very, very interesting. And it is strange. That's why it's number four on my list. Number three is uh, something that really was just out. It's the Gothard Tunnel opening. Now that happened on June 1st, 2016, when Saturn was closer to the Earth than it had been. And it was just, I did a whole video on the Gothard Tunnel and I explained everything and how weird it was. If you don't know anything about the Gothard Tunnel opening, okay, I'll give you a, a couple of stats. They had 666 performers and they were performing this ritualistic, really disturbing, 
thing in front of heads of states like uh, Angela Merkel was there and uh, uh, Hollandaise of France, as well as many, many, many leaders and movers and shakers all over the world. And they gave this thing a standing ovation. And it was like downright, um, not just perverse, but disturbing. You watch it and it's all about Baphomet and um, or you can call it Pan or you can call it the devil, uh, you know, basically being crowned king. And then after acting out a scene where it goes over and it basically bends about. I mean, it's really disturbing. He ends up, uh, I guess, impregnating, you know, all the women that were dressed, you know, very provocatively. And then the Antichrist, little baby Antichrist is born and everybody sings. And, and this is real. I mean, this is what they spent a lot of money on, right, for this the longest tunnel that goes through this mountain. Just so felt so weird to me. And the fact that there was a tie-in to the large um, Hadron Collider, CERN, uh, when they had that big screen in the background, you saw all the spooky eyes and you saw, you know, the, uh, the, the Egyptian dung beetles and all of that symbolism. And then you see the LHC come on there. And then you see um, all the big heads come out, head symbolizing all the people that are in power, coming out, standing at the foot of this time, then going backwards, and all of them bowing down as if they're praying to it. That was what they gave a standing ovation to. The Gothard Tunnel opening. Number three as to why reality is not what we think it is. There's something else that's going down. The people that are behind the scenes, they're pulling the strings and they're making a lot of weird stuff happen. And it seemed to me in this that it was a celebration of what went down with number two, CERN. And uh, yeah, I've done a lot of videos on CERN. If you haven't seen my, uh, my videos on CERN, once again, there's a playlist. Go check it out. Uh, my favorite video on CERN is, is the Tower of Babel, CERN being the Tower of Babel. That's a cool video, whether or not it is, but there's some weird connections. I mean, very strange. You should definitely check it out. But that's number two. And why this is important is now, I mean, like I think this week, or maybe they just did it or not, they're transporting antimatter for the first time. Now, if you don't know anything about the Large Hadron Collider, it is... Um, this is a big thing. What they do is it's like a big circle and they take these, these particles and they shoot them at the speed of light and they, they basically smash them into each other and they take calculations of it. And what they're trying to do is they're trying to get to the basis of, they're trying to, get, they're trying to create antimatter. And what antimatter does is it opens up another dimension. Okay, yes, they're opening up other dimensions. They're opening up doorways, portals. And they say this, right? That's weird. That's not normal. CERN, the European Organization for Nuclear Research, and you've got a view that very few people will ever see. This is one of the places that helped to discover the Higgs boson. So, that big shiny pipe above you is connected to the tunnels that we were just in. And when the beams of particles are going fast enough, tiny adjustments are made to bring those two beams together until, right here, they collide. In an instant, the particles are smashed to pieces. And it's these even smaller particles that the CMS can detect. It's an enormous sensor that looks for the fundamental building blocks of the universe. And what's really bizarre is that once it went online, which was you know not, not too long ago, but you know it was running in the background before that, that's when all of a sudden, number one, the Mandela effect came into play like everywhere. A lot of the uh, 
You know, a lot of people thought the world was coming to an end in 2012. And a lot of people talked about the Mayan calendar and a lot of all this stuff and how the world was supposed to end. And I know a lot of people actually think that this world has ended. I know that other people uh, like Elon Musk and uh, Nick Bostrom, who is a, uh, you know, a PhD over there at the uh, Oxford University, who wrote that great paper about how everything's a uh, simulation. They believe that we're in some kind of simulation, right? That's another thing, that maybe this isn't real. There are people that are spending multi-millions of dollars trying to figure out a way out of the matrix, right? <laughs> how do we know what's real? Remember that scene with Morpheus, you know, with the Mandela effect meme? Uh, <laughs> what if I told you I never said that? So, now if you don't know anything about the Mandela Effect, once again, I have a lot of videos on it. I have one video that's almost at like a million views, uh, where I give you quite a few. The Mandela Effect, you have, people have memories of things that just aren't the same. Like, I remember the Coke logo with, you know, Coca-Cola with a little white, scripty little, oh, like little dash or a little wavy line in between the two words. But turns out, that's never been there. I could go on and on, my goodness, from movie lines to my uh, all-time favorite, you know, the residual evidence, the evidence that proves that something went down. You know, I've done a lot of videos on this, and when I was already looking at it, I was always waiting for what we call a flip-flop, okay? So the number one reason, you know, to think that maybe there's more to what's going on is all of the residual evidence from a flip-flop that I personally saw myself. So when before you say, oh, you're crazy and you just, you remembered it wrong. A lot of people don't really understand what the Mandela effect was or is, <sighs> but all of this stuff that we talk about, that's why I wanted to do this top 10 list. It's all connected somehow. And for whatever reason, I've been kind of like weaving uh, in between all of these topics and I found that, whoa, it's, uh, it's wake up time, right? We got to start questioning more. So. Is reality real? Is there more to what's going on? You bet there is, and that's why it's exciting. And I hope you like my little list, and I hope you have the best day ever. And don't forget, listen, people, we are, um, I was talking to someone today who was, who was going through a hard time, and I just knew I needed to talk to him, so I kind of moved over to him, and I listened. We were at the gym together. He's a big, strong guy, like won all sorts of awards for bodybuilding just because he just decided he wanted to be a bodybuilder this year, and then boom, two in a row. But I knew he was going through something. And I, I, sorry, I stood next to him, I just listened to him, and I just, I talked to him, and I spoke to him, and I realized, my goodness, I can help him just by simply being, you know, there in his time of need. And man, what a beautiful thing. So I was there in his time of need, and, um, and then I got this great idea for this top 10 list, because I had been searching. Isn't it amazing? Sometimes you do for others, and the things that you're missing in your life, the things that you need in your life, they just, they just appear. There's more to uh, what you consider reality, people. There is a lot more. And that's why I always say buckle up. And I hope that you are subscribed and buckled up for every show that I do. And instead of asking me if I've done a show, hey, listen, that's cool if you do, because I'm going to comment back and let you know. Go to my videos and check them out. Make sure you check the bell. You want to? Okay, come on, buddy. <laughs> this is little man wanted to come over and uh, I guess say hi to everybody. It's been a while. Right? Where, where you been? You want to say hi to everybody? Say hey. Hi. Hey, hey. hey. <laughs> what do you think is weird? Like, if I was to ask you, like, what do you think is the weirdest thing that I, Daddy talks about? What do you think it would be? Well, that's easy. Mandela effect. The Mandela effect? Really? Yeah. Yeah, it's not your blue tongue. Stick out your tongue. Show everybody your tongue. Look at that. Yeah, maybe that's a Mandela effect. He's a level H reader, guys, by the way, just today. Level H. Six years old. Very, very smart young man. He's the coolest. Yeah, make a muscle. Go ahead. That's cool. <laughs> All right. We will see you next time. I love each and every one of you, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye. Give, give him a kiss. Mwah!